Hello and welcome to another beauty box unboxing. Actually, it's a beauty bag this time. It's the Colt Beauty On The Go Travel Edit. Now, unfortunately, this sold out pretty quickly. I did post it on my Instagram um, account and also on YouTube. So hopefully anyone who wanted it did see it. But I know I think a few people may have missed out. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Summer Snow Beauty. So um, all I post really is boxes that are coming out. Not all of them, just the ones that kind of interest me or I'm thinking about getting or I am getting. And it's, it is partly as well to do with the time that I have at the moment. But I do try to put out the cult beauty ones because I know they're a bit of a nightmare to get. Now, another way to get alerts for cult beauty really is make sure you get their app on your phone and sign up then for emails and alerts if you see that there's a box due to come out because then you'll get early notification you'll get early access normally via the app so it is a really good thing to have because they do sell out pretty quickly now this did cost 40 pounds but the contents and the bag itself are worth over 118 i actually have priced up each individual item um, which I'll say as we're going along and I do get it to being just over £180 so that's really good in terms of their valuation. So the edit actually contains 11 items they all came in this gorgeous bag which is actually one of my favourite things from the box so it's got Court Beauty embossed on there and then it zips up off not a zips is it open it's open gosh i can't remember simple words now um to reveal this rather spacious little bag it's got little pockets in the side it's got a zip in the middle as well so it kind of laid out with all these things inside i was going to try and show you what it looked like but i just i'm not very good at packing so trying to get all the things back in the box didn't really work for me and there's the little cult beauty logo on the ribbon inside as well it's a beautiful beautiful bag pity i'm not going anywhere for the foreseeable future because i would have taken that with me for definite okay let's have a look at what was inside so I know it's not available now, but I think it is useful for me to go over the, all the things that are in there because then if you like the look of them and you see them in other edits, you know, oh yeah, I quite fancy trying that. And this is one of the ones I would say is worth a try. It's by Summer Fridays and it's the um, jet lag mask. It's a big, big size at 64 grams and it's 49 pounds on the Court Beauty site. So it's probably the most valuable thing in here, I think. Oh, by the way, did I tell you? I don't know whether I told you, but you can still, you can actually buy this bag if you really like it from Court Beauty. It's worth, it's for £20. So that's part of the value of the box. But it is, it's a lovely bag. So worth looking out for. If I've already told you that, I'm sorry. My memory is so shocking lately. I cannot believe it. I won't even go, I won't even tell you about it. It's too embarrassing. Um, so this, this, the Court cool Beauty say, upgraded to reap the best results as physically possible. This iconic mask is now crafted with a skin soothing blend of vitamin B5, alantoin and bisabolol without the likes of essential oils to prevent potential irritation it's perfect for stressed out skin and ideal for post plain complexions the vegan formula drenches, drenches skin with a nourishing mix of vitamins ceramides antioxidants and gently exfoliating extracts which work together to soothe and hydrate skin plumping away the look of fine lines and wrinkles to leave things uber dewy Humectant Hero Glycerin locks in dryness, relieving moisture to promote a soft, supple finish, while hyaluronic acid helps to draw in moisture and niacinamide reduces the appearance of pores and imperfections. So to use, you apply a visible layer on cleansed dry skin, including under eye area, leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes, wipe off excess with a warm cloth or towel, no need to rinse. But there is a founder's tip, and they say we love this as an overnight mask, and they use it as a hydrating primer under makeup too. They do recommend a patch test before using the first time. So I have had a go with this. I always love this packaging with uh, Summer Fridays when it comes in these little sort of tin tubes. I like a tin tube. Um, 
it was lovely i decided to use it as an overnight mask though i just to be honest i hate putting masks on and then having to wipe them off again i don't know why i, I prefer things that stay on my face if i'm completely honest with you um here is what it looks like and you have to put they say a visible layer so you can still sort of see the product and it felt quite a lot to put on at night but in the morning it felt beautiful so i used it last night um it was my last product on my face and yet yeah, woke up and i could feel my skin feeling just soft and lovely some things you wear at night they kind of have worn off the feeling of them is worn off by the next day but this felt like my skin was really super soft and supple and i like it a lot there's no smell to it obviously they've said they've there's no essential oils or anything like that so it is sort of fragrance free which you know is probably a good thing although i do like a bit of fragrance personally but i'm going to use that again definitely um not every night i'll probably use it once a week maybe because there is a sort of an exfoliating element isn't there in there so um yeah it'd probably be once a week week mass maybe on a weekend before i do a video okay the next item now this is by patchology and it's the patch flash rejuvenating eye gel so you can get a single packet of these from court beauty for three pounds and they say cooling soothing and effortlessly refreshing these eye gels are perfect for sleepless nights and tired eyes that need reviving made with the brand's iconic hydrogel technology these gels stay put whilst delivering essential ingredients to the targeted area for effective results targeting dehydration lines and tired eyes each pair of hydrogel patches is infused with caffeine to improve micro stimulation for brighter tone and reduce puffiness sodium hyaluronate which, that naturally binds moisture to the skin centella asiatica which encourages collagen production while inhibiting inflammation hydrolyzed collagen to improve skin's hydration elasticity tone and density and finally vitamin c and omega fatty acid which portulaca oleracea i can't say that uh, portulaca oleracea that's probably wrong extract which brightens the under eye with 100 percent of clinical participants saying that their eyes appeared awakened revived and revitalized these intelligent eye patches are an absolute must try so you get your eye gels out of here they come in this little plastic um covering which has a little lid that you lift out and there is some little white backing things but then you just peel them off now these are one of those weird sort of shapes i did check online to see which way you put them because i know i've, I've struggled before and i think basically you can wear them either way around whichever suits your sort of eye shape and where i guess you're trying to target so i did them with the wide side here it seemed to reach all my target areas a little bit better now this morning i actually did have quite puffy looking eyes i was surprised i'm not sure what happened i know i woke up a few times in the night um so i probably had a bit of a restless night's sleep so my eyes were quite puffy i never get them that puffy but they do sort of when they start to bag round about here so i had a good old look at them before i put the gels on the gels were okay to wear they weren't completely non-slip, I don't think. They did have a little bit. took me a, a while to get them in the right position, and then they did just slip ever so slightly away, but only minimal. Now, you're meant to leave it on for five minutes. You can leave it on for a little bit longer. Because I did have an issue this morning, I thought I'm going to leave it on for 10 minutes and see what happens. Then you discard after use obviously or keep to show other people and massage remaining serum into skin which is what i did there was a difference it did look better it did look brighter this eye looked better but it always does anyway this eye looked completely clear and lovely this eye was better than it had been not perfect but it rarely is okay the next item is but i liked them uh by the ordinary 
and it's hyaluronic acid with two two percent hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 so it's 30 mils it's available for seven pounds 90 from the book the cult beauty website i think i nearly said something else then Ooh. uh featuring three types of hyaluronic acid at low medium and high molecular weights this lightweight serum offers serious skin smoothing penetrating the skin to reach its deeper layers it delivers long lasting hydration and offers visible plumping and moisture retention so that skin looks smoother softer and healthier the hyaluronic acid at the center of this super serum attracts up to a thousand times its weight in water while a brilliant boost of vitamin b5 heals dry and damaged areas by stabilizing the skin's barrier function and promoting the growth of stronger tissue so to use this let's show it you first so it comes in pretty much that's what it always comes in with the ordinary isn't it sort of nice simple packaging but glass bottle like it and you apply a few drops to your face in the morning and evening before cream so this is not quite what i expected actually so pipette clear looking formula let's pop it i think on the back of my hand so as you can see now i think there's glycerin in this i did check the um the ingredients and i often find with what products like that there's this kind of it feels slightly different and it does feel a little bit sticky at first so that to me feels quite sticky but once your skin has absorbed it i forgot that word the other day someone kindly reminded me once your skin has absorbed it you see i forget everything i'm terrible at the moment um it does go super 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 soft it's a perfect base for makeup and other things that you're going to put on there so i actually really really like this product um it's one that you do need to wait put that extra little time in to dry off but once you've done that it's lovely and you can carry on it's probably not one when i'm in a rush but if i'm not in a rush definite okay the next item now this is a bit of an unusual one and i still am not entirely sure about it it is hair by sam mcknight lazy girl mm, could be me i guess biodegradable hair cleanse cloths it's a pack of 20 wipes and court beauty sells this was 17 pounds so basically these wipes are to use in between hair washes if you need to sort of freshen your hair up and court beauty says each cloth is made from certified compostable tree pulp cellulose making them fully biodegradable in as little as six weeks and enriched with grease dispelling witch hazel a trio strand nourishing aloe leaf velvet flower seed and honeysuckle flower extracts ensure your hair stays as hydrated and cared for as though you've just completed your usual hair wash ritual of course no sam mcknight creation would be complete without a final flourish of his signature botanical fine fragrance to fool everyone into thinking you're on day one of your hair wash cycle and they say it removes impurities and product builder and to use it you get a wipe and you gently sweep across an area in need of a refresh so i had a go with this the other day and i i hadn't washed my hair for probably two days i did it on purpose really to try these out i can't open it now you see oh there we go so it just opens there look if you like me and can't find these things it's sort of at the end um i can smell it already the smells fabulous it smells like a herb garden or something like that very herbally oh it's really really rather nice now that was the best thing about it it did give my hair that little refresh and a nice lovely clean smell i wasn't entirely sure what to do with it really i was trying to see if i could get like into the roots but that was a little bit difficult so for me it was more of a just a dab sort of thing i think i'm going to put that back in because i am going to use it what i thought i'd use it for which is terrible to admit these things really but um often i don't wash my <laughs> hair on my work days because i work from home and i do have a few meetings via teams so 
you do get the option of video. I don't often take the option of video up. And one of the reasons is because my hair always looks a mess because I haven't, my hair always looks best if I've washed it. The second day, it's just about mm, manageable. But sometimes, especially when I'm working, I do leave it purposefully to be fair a couple of days because I think it's better for my hair but it looks awful. So I am going to keep these next to my workstation because I know sometimes I am supposed to have my video on in meetings and I don't, which is very naughty of me, but I am that age now where, you know, I can be a bit more rebellious, I think. Anyway, that's what I think of those. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna, they're gonna get used for those purposes. Right, the next item, now this is possibly the one of my favorite things in the bag um it's by amora vizza and it's the queen of hungry mist it's 50 mils caught beauty sells 100 mils for 62 pounds so this is actually probably worth about 31 pounds amora vizza revived a 14th century beauty recipe originally devised for queen elizabeth Elizabeth even of Hungary to create this purifying toning and protective facial mist adored for its phenomenal rejuvenating properties. Starring Hungary's mineral rich thermal waters, the earth's crust is thinner there apparently, which is why the waters are jam packed with skin beneficial elements. This mist delivers these precious waters magical healing properties to your skin's lowest levels where the minerals kickstart, repair and stimulate regeneration. So you can spray at any time of the day on your face, body and hair, hold bottle at least six inches away and keep out of eyes, the mist does not contain alcohol. Right, so I'll show you what it looks like because it's absolutely gorgeous. That's the right way round. Um, it is beautiful. I love this. I've had it before. Um, so I knew what to expect. The packaging though, this is, feels really heavy. You know, it's like proper solid packaging and beautiful as well. It's the kind of packaging you just keep once you've used the product. Okay, I'll try and show you the spray. I've got to find the little nozzle there because it's super, super, super fine. I don't think you probably saw that because it's like literally. Well, I'm going to spray it on me, so I'll probably pull a strange face. But oh, that is so gorgeous! It's very refreshing. Um, there is a smell to it. Very gentle, beautiful sort of stress relieving kind of smell. I really, really, really like that. And I'm very happy with it. I'm going to pause for a second because I am desperate for a drink of water. I'll be back soon. I've just noticed the time, so I'm going to go a little bit quicker on the next items because I'm doing my usual and going on far too long. So the next one, now this is a little bit diddy, isn't it? It's the L'Occitane Almond Shower Gel, oil even, oil, that's important. It's 35 mils, so the brand sells 75 mils for seven pounds on the website, so this is probably worth around three pounds 50. Court Beauty says, taking your daily shower ritual and transforming it into an indulgent spa-like uh, experience with this best-selling, award-winning shower essential. I think I missed a word out there. I don't know whether I replaced it with the right one, but never mind. Mixing up your bathing ritual and breaking away from the norms of gels and washes is this nourishing mouth-watering shower oil. As you massage it into your limbs and breathe in the sweet scent of almond oil, you'll feel it transform into a delicate milky veil that gently cleanses your skin of impurities whilst granting long-lasting hydration. The result is supple, soft, clean skin on which the aroma of Proven Provencal almond lingers. So basically you lather with water to form a sheer milky texture. We can use a loofah as well um, if you want to. If you love a moisturising bath, pour it directly into a tub of warm water for a softening almond soak. So I actually have got a bigger size version of this. I think it's the same. It's, the packaging is slightly different. But I don't really want to open this one up while I've got this one. Um, and I had a go with it this morning. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I don't because I haven't got much, I have got some water. I'll see if it works without the water first. So there it is. And what you do is once you mix the water in, let me just get a tiny bit on my finger. It does go into like a milky, oily wash. It's not working there, but I probably haven't got enough 
amounts together. Um, it smells glorious if you like that smell. It's a very specific sort of smell. Um, I personally really like it. I've had this before. It's great. It does leave your skin feeling really silky soft. I used it this morning and my skin, um, although I've probably put something else on there, haven't I? I can't remember. Uh, but my skin did feel really nice afterwards. Okay, the next item is by Paula's Choice. And it's the, I've got to find it now. Which one is it? It's this one. Oh, one's fallen on the floor. That will mean a pause in a minute. Uh, Paula's Choice Clear Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid with SPF 30 plus. It's a travel size at 15 mil. Court Beauty have this for sale on their site at 12 pounds. And they say formulated for oilier, blemish prone skin types. This featherweight moisturizer keeps skin balanced, healthy and calm. Not to mention protected from harmful and aging UV rays with broad spectrum SPF. SPF 30. With a non-greasy fluid consistency, the clever formula mattifies excess shine and minimizes the appearance of pores to lend a smooth canvas perfectly primed for makeup application or for wearing in its bare beautiful glory. A blend of vitamin dense plant extracts, think green tea, pomegranate and goji among others, add their antioxidant properties to the mix, soothing any upsets, fading red marks and defending against environmental stressors. And you apply it as the last step in your morning skincare routine. Allow a moment to dry before applying makeup. Now, it does have a little cautionary note on this. It says if you're allergic to aspirin, which is acetyl, salicyl acetyl salicylate, you shouldn't use this product as it contains salicylate derivatives. I don't know whether I said that right. So just be careful if you are allergic to aspirin. Now this, although it said it was suitable more for oily skin types, I thought I'd give it a go anyway this morning. Um, and I quite liked it. It did give an, a, another great base for my makeup. So I actually felt really, when I was doing my makeup this morning, I did feel that everything felt really soft and smooth. And it still does. Um, I've just sprayed that mist on as well, haven't I? So everything feels really soft today. It's nice. Now, I don't know whether this is suitable for my skin type. I'm getting a lot of spots at the moment, but I think that's more of a hormonal thing than anything else. Um, that's partly why I decided to use it to see what would happen. <laughs> it's a nice sort of very lightweight cream. Blends in extremely easily. It's got a kind of an SPF smell to it. I can always smell that. Um, but it went in beautifully. And that was the last step in my skincare routine before I started applying all my makeup steps then. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that one. I don't know whether I will, I probably will use it again because to be fair, there's not a great deal in there, I don't think. Okay, the next item is by Elemis. It is the Superfood AHA Glow Cleansing Butter. It's a travel size at 20 mil, and you can get it from the brand's website for £10. Court Beauty says melt away makeup and daily impurities while leaving skin looking healthy, fresh, and glowing with this AHA cleansing butter. It removes every last trace of makeup, daily grime, pollutants and daily grime even, to reveal a healthy looking radiance. A unique blend of a fermented pumpkin enzymes and acerola cherry, naturally rich in AHAs, helps to brighten skin, while mango butter and chia seed oil, rich in omega fatty acids, nourish and hydrate the skin. The brightening buttery formula can be used as a daily cleanser or a deep cleansing mask or as a hydrating makeup remover for the eyes and face. And you can use it every morning and evening. To use as a makeup remover, it does say to apply to a cotton pad and wipe gently over the face and eyes. To use as a daily cleanser, massage a coin-sized amount into dry skin and rinse off with warm water. And to use as a deep cleansing mask, apply a thin layer to the face and leave on for 10 minutes before rinsing. So I've had this before and it is lovely. I actually use it to remove makeup because it is like a balm for me, which is a first stage makeup remover in my sort of opinion but it has got an AHA content in, content in it, so I am careful what I um, mix and match it with, I guess. It's got a very bright colour. Yet again, I'm using an AHA on this hand. I did try to sort of 
sit in the sun yesterday covering my arm up and just letting my hand down with sun cream of course but I don't think it's made much of a difference um there is a I don't think there's much of a smell to this maybe a tiny bit it's funny because there's something on my hands as well that is in the box I'm going to show you later that I it's quite a strong smell so all I can smell at the moment is that now just trying to see what time is and I I'm hoping it isn't what I think it is. Okay, so that's really nice to have. Okay, the next item is by Laneige, and it is the, um, oh, where's that gone? I've lost, that's the one that fell on the floor. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, this is the Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturiser. It's only a size 10 mil size. Cool Beauty sells 50 mils on their website for 33 pounds. So I think this is still worth around six or seven pounds in terms of the product value. And they say perfect for day and night. This lush cream moisturizer relieves damaged skin and locks in moisture for up to 100 hours. Yes, 100. You read that right or you heard that right in this case. Rich in texture, but still light enough to use no matter the season. This moisturizer is a dream for skin that has seen harsh external damage. It hydrates thanks to its star ingredient, hyaluronic acid, but not as you know it. The blue in the name refers to a form of hyaluronic acid that is fermented with deep sea algae, which has a low molecular weight. Translation, a swipe of this good stuff allows intense moisture to penetrate deep into the skin. It also strengthens the skin barrier and reduces redness, making it a treat for sensitive skin types. And you apply it evenly to your face, AM and PM after cleansing, toning and serum. So I have got this on as well. I know I've got the other sort of moisturizer one, but this is kind of a little bit different. It's a gel one. And it felt like I could put them both on together and they worked very well together. So there's the gel texture of it and it's beautiful now there is a little bit of a smell to this one i'm hoping i can pick it up but do you know what i can't it's very 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 light smell i think you smell it more when it's on your face rather than anywhere else it's just light refreshing clean smell so really happy with that love that wish i'd had the full size version because i really do like that product okay the next item now this one i'm not so keen on it's by hurlem it's the hand and body lotion in sandalwood and grapefruit so travel size of 50 ml and court beauty sell this for 12 pounds they say with a lightweight fast absorbing formula this hand and body lotion delivers deep and long lasting hydration without leaving skin sticky or greasy the impressive hydration is down to a few key sustainably sourced ingredients. First, there's a mix of nourishing and strengthening vitamin E, sweet almond and cacao oils. Then there's muramura butter, known for its lauric and oleic acid properties. I've said that wrong, but never mind. And ability to lock in moisture. There's also a delicious rainforest inspired scent stemming from upcycled flowers and up uniting woody and spicy notes of freshly sliced grapefruit and creamy sandalwood. So, you obviously massage it into your hands and body. I've had it before. I'm not keen on the smell. It's really strong as well. Um, I will put it on my hand because I've nearly finished the box now. So um, it won't take away the smells of anything else. But this is it's quite thick. But it does blend in well, to be fair. Um, but the smell for me, it's... I don't get the grapefruit at all in there. And I love grapefruit. So if it smelled of grapefruit, I would have been a happy bunny. Um, but it doesn't smell of that to me. It smells very masculine. It's a very masculine fragrance for me. And it's not the kind. It's not. It's just not for me. I don't know. I don't like it. I gave the last one away and I'm afraid I'm going to be giving that one away too. Okay. The next item is the final item, and I think I am nearly at 30, I'm going to go over, but never mind, is by Lano Lips. I've got it the wrong way around in the box, but never mind. It's the Fruity Jelly Balm in Watermelon. This is 10 grams, port cult beauty. <laughs> I keep nearly saying the wrong things here. Uh, sells this for £8.99 on their website. And they say, drench your lips in long-lasting hydration and a pretty natural-looking colour with Lana Lips Fruity Jelly Balms. The star of the show here, of course, Lanolin, which envelops lips in moisture, leaving them lovely and soft. Along with a wash of sheer colour, each scent is, is also infused with a unique fruit, nourishing fruit extract. 
watermelon is a pinkish tint so i have got this on now now with these things they tend to just come off as i talk i find um so what i might do is reapply and show you again i actually really quite like this i'll be back in a sec so there you go i really like it. it's quite a natural looking tint to it i think also for me the nice thing is there is a little te little taste of watermelon not too much but there is definitely something there so that's it what do you think of it now obviously for me i think the star of the show definitely the bag absolutely gorgeous 20 pounds on court beauty if you really really want it you might have caught uh, beauty status points you could use for it then of course this amazing spray i absolutely love this it is First of all, the packaging is gorgeous. It's definitely worth keeping that. And the spray itself is absolutely freshening and lovely. Love that. So those are probably my two favourite things. I was surprised by the Summer Fridays, how much I liked that one. So again, I'm really pleased with that one. And the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. Always love to get hyaluronic acid. It's something I use every single day, morning and night without fail. Then we get the other ones, which are the smaller little ones with the um, the little SPF moisturiser, which for oily skin really, but it seemed to work okay with me, especially in combination with this gorgeous little hyaluronic uh, Laneige sort of one, which is lovely. I think I've said that wrong. The eye patches, fabulous, did a fabulous, fabulous job. The Lana Lips love that as well. Elemis, always happy to get a cleansing butter, cleansing um, balm, whatever. Um, I've left all the lids off, haven't I? I'm so disorganised. It's terrible. Um, L'Occitane, okay, very, very small, <laughs> but, you know, nice little product. Not so keen on the hand cream, but I will give that to someone else. And the hair wipes again. I'm not in entirely sure on these i might um i might let other people try them actually in the house and see what they think you never know so i really enjoyed getting this box so sorry it sold out if you missed it and you wanted it um i've just realized that my mic's been faced the wrong way so i might have to redo this video that will be fun won't it um <laughs> But I am doing another one in a bit anyway. It's the next video, the lips one. So we'll see how this one turns out. I'll have a little listen. If it's any good, it'll stay. Otherwise, it'll go. But if it stays, I send you lots and lots and lots of positive energy. And I hope, I really hope that you have a wonderful week ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.